You are scrambling to acquire, to invent, to give us a vaccine. Give us an update. Yeah, so we have um, we're, we've developed a low cost uh, recombinant protein vaccine made in a yeast, the same technology used to uh, make the recombinant hepatitis B vaccine used all over the world, and it's made locally in India and Brazil and Indonesia and Bangladesh. And we decided we're going to use that technology to make a low cost, affordable, highly accessible COVID-19 vaccine. And it's going great guns. It looks really promising. And we've been engaging the Food and Drug Administration to move that along. And we think this could be one of the first global health vaccines used all over the uh, used used everywhere and made locally. So uh, the problem is we're not a pharma company, so we don't get the all the stuff that the you hear about with the Operation Warp Speed uh, companies in terms of big-time government assistance. We're getting some from the NIH, but, you know, we're raising money privately to, and hopefully we're going to announce a big partnership with India, we hope, in the, in the coming days and weeks. Dr. Hotez, we saw from Moderna's CEO that they're expecting that a vaccine, if all things go well, could be ready by Thanksgiving. I'm wondering, for your perspective on the front lines, how close are we? I mean, what's the time frame, not only for getting a vaccine that is effective and is proven safe, but also can be widely distributed, as you're talking about? Yeah, it's uh, certainly not by Thanksgiving. What's going to happen is you're going to uh, and uh, you're going to see a number of the warp speed vaccines enter into uh, phase three clinical trials uh, beginning in July, uh, and then it's probably going to take about a year to collect all of the data that we need uh, to show that the vaccines actually work and that the vaccines are actually safe. And that's the part you can't rush. I mean, oftentimes this is sort of and the biotechs do this, and even the uh, the White House does this. They they frame this as a manufacturing issue. That like they talk about it in the same context that they'll talk about making ventilators or diagnostic uh, kits, and it's not the same. Uh, yes, there are manufacturing issues, but the big hurdle is you need to give it the time to show that it works and it's safe, uh, and that means doing a thirty thousand person study. And I don't I don't see a path by which you can collect enough safety and data showing that it works before the end of the year. So I think more likely in the, in the middle of next year at the earliest, and even then that would be a world land speed record. So I, I don't know where these, you know, some of the CEOs and some of the, and some of the people coming out of the white house say, Oh, we're going to have it by the fall. I, I just don't see how that can happen.